Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In today's video, we're going to install RubyMine on a Chromebook. So the first thing we need to do is enable the Linux development environment. To do that, I'm going to click on the launcher here and find my settings. Click on Settings. Go to the left-hand side. Go to Advanced. Click on that and this tab should expand and you'll see developers. I'm going to click on that and where I see Linux development environment I'm going to click turn on and then next. It'll give me a username which is based off of my email I believe. I'm going to keep that as is and a recommended disk size which can be changed later. I'm going to keep that as is. I'm going to click install and that's going to take a few moments so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to maximize this and increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. I want to make sure everything is up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands, which means and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to use a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter. This will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once Linux is installed, we can go and download RubyMine. To do that, I'll open up a browser window, and I'll search for RubyMine, hit enter, and this first link from JetBrains should come up, which is jetbrains.com forward slash Ruby. I'm going to go to download, and I'm going to click on Linux to make sure I'm downloading the .tar.gz file. I'm going to click Download. Once RubyMine is downloaded, you'll find it in your Downloads folder, so let's go to that. And I'm going to right-click and cut this file and go to my Linux and right-click and paste it in. Okay, once RubyMine is pasted in, I'm going to open up the terminal here. I can list out my storage and I see I have RubyMine the .tar.gz file. I want to unzip that and put that into my op directory. To do that, I'm going to type sudo tar-xvf and then start to type rubymine and hit tab to autocomplete, a dash c and then a forward slash opt and hit enter. Okay, once that's done, we can run the file by doing forward slash opt, start to type out rubymine, hit tab to autocomplete, then bin then start to type rubymine.sh and hit enter. Okay, the JetBrains user agreement is going to pop up. I'm going to confirm that I accept the agreement and click continue. And now rubymine pops up and it's going to prompt me to log into my JetBrains account to activate my license, start a free 30-day trial, or buy a license. At this point, rubymine is installed on your Chromebook. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.